When light refracts through a lens, it magnifies the object creating an image. We can quantify this magnification by looking at the relationship between the distance and height of the image and object. Let's look at a couple of questions that were answered in our lab. What did you notice about the ratios of the height of the image to the height of the object compared to the ratio of the distance of the image to the distance of the object? They should have been exactly the same. Hi ho equals die do. Complete these statements based on your observations. If the ratio of hi ho or die do is greater than 1, the image is bigger. If the ratio of hi ho or die do is less than 1, the image is smaller. If the ratio of hi ho or die do is equal to 1, the image is the exact same size. This relationship of hi ho or die do is where we get the concept of magnification, which is why if we have a bigger magnification or bigger than 1, the object or image, I should say, is bigger. If the magnification is less than 1, the image is smaller than the original object. When you tried taking the inverse of die and do and adding them together, you ended up with the inverse of the focal point. So based on our observations, we know that the ratio of hi to ho, the height of the image to the height of the object, is always equal to the distance of the image and the distance of the object, that ratio. The inverse of the distance of the image and the inverse of the distance of the object added together gives us 1 over f, the inverse of the focus or focal point. We know that an object that has a high ho or die do ratio larger than 1 is a bigger image. If it's less than 1, it has a smaller image. So we call this our magnification formula. Magnification is either the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object or the distance of the image to the distance of the object. Beyond these formulas, there's a few concepts to understand. If a lens is converging, then f, or the focal point, is positive. Converging lenses bring all of those individual or parallel light rays and focus them down to the focal point. If a diverging lens, then we're using a negative f, or a negative focal point. A diverging lens refracts out that light based on the angle of the focal point. If the distance of the image is a positive value, then it's a real image. It's located on the opposite side of the lens from the object. If the distance of the image is a negative value, then it's a virtual image located on the same side of the lens as the object. If the height of the image is a positive value, then it's an upright image, it's straight up. If the height of the image is a negative value, then it's inverted, that means it's upside down. Positive is upward, negative is downward. Let's explore this first example. A converging lens of a copy machine has a focal length of 20 centimeters. A letter to be copied is placed 35 centimeters from the lens. How far away will the image be printed? Just like always, the most important thing you can do here is organize your work. So I'm going to list out my variables, hi, ho, di, do, and then the focal point. Well, I know that I have a focal length of 20 centimeters. I know that I have the distance of the object. The object is the letter being copied. It's 35 centimeters away. How far away will the image be printed? That's a distance. That's the distance of the image. That's what I'm solving for. If you have a derived set of equations, feel free to use them. We're solving for the distance of the image. The top equation, or the derived version of the magnification equation, involves the distance of the object, which we have, the height of the image, which we don't have, and the height of the object, which we don't have. So we can't use that formula. 
we need to only have one variable, and di, or distance of the image, is already it. The optics equation derivation of this uh, di only, we have do, which is the distance of the object, times the focal length, divided by do, distance of the object, minus the focal length. We have all those variables, so we can proceed. We're going to use this formula. So I start by writing out the original general formula. I'm going to substitute in for do and f. There's the distance of the object, the focal length. Distance of the object, focal length. Whenever you have a rational expression like this, or a big old scary fraction, simplify the top and simplify the bottom before dividing down to a decimal. You'll save on error time. So 35 times 20 gives me 700. 35 minus 20 gives me 15. Now that I have the top, the numerator, and the denominator simplified, I can just divide to get 46.67 centimeters. This is how far away the image is in the copy machine. This next example is an object that's 20 centimeters high is placed 60 centimeters in front of a diverging lens with a focal length of negative 20 centimeters. Remember, diverging lenses always have negative focal lengths. They won't always give you the number with the negative in front of it. So keep in mind, diverging, negative. Find the distance of the image and determine its height. Start by listing out the information you have. Hi-ho, di-do, and f, the focal length. I know the height of the object is 20 centimeters. It's 60 centimeters from the lens, so that's the distance of the object. And the focal length is negative 20 centimeters. We're looking for the distance of the image and the height of the image. So let's start by tackling the height of the image. There's only one formula in my formula sheet that has height of the image by itself. So I'm going to end up using the magnification equation. I'm trying to find the distance of the image as well. There are two formulas for that. We're going to end up using this formula because at this point I don't have the height of the image yet. The only way I'll have it is if I solve for it. Even if you try, and even if you show all your work and are very detailed and consistent, it's very easy to make a mistake. So if the only way to use that top formula is to use information I calculated, I'd rather rely on information that's given to me. I can trust that information. If I made a mistake on my height of my image, I'll make a mistake on the distance of my image as well. So I'm going to start by finding the distance of the image. I plug in all of my given information. Distance of the object, 60 centimeters. Focal point, or sorry, focal length, negative 20. And then we plug the same information again. Be careful, whenever there's a big rational expression, simplify the numerator and denominator. Watch for negatives. Here I have 60 minus negative 20. 60 times negative 20 gives me negative 1200. 60 minus negative 20 is really 60 plus 20, so that's 80. And then last step, divide it out. I get negative 15 centimeters. Since I have a negative image or negative distance of my image, that means I have a virtual image. This image is on the same side as the object. Let's double check. I want to find the height of the image. There it is. So I'm going to use the high equals ho times di divided by do. Write the full formula out and substitute in. Ho is 20. Di is negative 15. And do is 60. Since it's a rational expression, I'm going to simplify top and bottom. 20 times negative 15 is negative 300, 60 is just 60. Divide those out, you should get negative 5. 